and saying that my gums were bleeding, right. you know, at some point, not every day, all the time, yeah. but I would have periodically bleeding of the gums. So that let me know that there was some type of gingivitis going on. Right. So I started using Listerine and that kind of maintained it in a, in a such a way, you know, mm-hmm. and then it became painful on this side of mm-hmm. my mouth to chew sometimes. And this is the side that I'm used to chewing on, right. but I do rotate it to chew it up, you know, to make sure that right. my food is digestible. But yeah, then I was having the point where my teeth, or when I eat, I, you know, food was getting caught in between my teeth and the flossing wasn't bringing it all the way out. Get to your local dentist as soon as possible. And also get to see a periodontal dentist as soon as possible so that you can go up under that gum line, get all that out of there, and possibly just remove all the teeth that are just not out of your head that are just not good for you, period. Because if any of that infection goes down your throat as it does on a daily basis when you eat, it affects your lungs, it affects your heart. And also you can develop very, very bad gingivitis, meaning that, you know, your breath will smell like nothing but just ooh, gross stuff. And the food that you eat also gets it gets all in your teeth and the flossing doesn't help anymore because even brushing doesn't help anymore because it's such a buildup under the gum line. So, and then on top of that, if there's if it's very hardcore infection such as my mouth is, you will develop not crank sores but you know like wizen sores on the inside of your mouth. And if, I mean, when I say sores, I don't mean that lightly. I mean it you know indirectly that the sores kind of you know they feel like that there's pulse inside of there and that you know that pulse is not good because whenever anything pulses up that means you got a serious serious infection so i recommend that if you you know you if your doctor tells you to go go because it's going to be very very helpful for you in the long run it's not the type of dentures that our grandparents used to get back in the the late 60s and 50s or what have you these are implanted dentures to where they look just totally natural you're beautiful you don't have a mr ed smile at all you know because a lot of people think if you smile you know you have a mr ed but this is the best thing